The Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources produced this program to help landowners and farmers minimize livestock losses by coyotes. The department is committed to providing guidance to farmers and landowners related to wildlife depredation problems. Please contact the department if you have questions or comments. Last year, I had one lamb killed. Lived on a farm all my life, was raised on a farm. If you can keep them out, you got the battle won. I take care of my own coyote problems and I, I snare them or I use leg hold traps. A coyote has been a problem to farmers in Kentucky for decades. Hello, I'm Tim Farmer with Kentucky Field. In a minute, we're going to show you how to effectively, quickly catch with a trap or a snare a nuisance coyotes. Coyotes caught in snares or traps should not be released, relocated, or sold. The Department of Fish and Wildlife asks that you kill each coyote. It's also illegal to import coyotes into Kentucky or to sell wild caught coyotes. Now, if you're aware of such activities, please contact the Department of Fish and Wildlife. Coyote. The very name can dredge up visions of campfires on the prairie and the haunting cry of this wild canine. In fact, the coyote of today has changed very little from what the Native Americans and early European settlers first encountered. Adults stand two feet high at the shoulders and weigh 20 to 50 pounds. Their coats range from gray to tan or red with buff-colored underparts. And there's always the characteristic bushy black tip tail. They look like so many domestic shepherd type dogs that it can be difficult to tell the difference. In fact, coyotes will occasionally mate with dogs. The resulting hybrid is known as a koi dog. Coyotes are the fastest of all canids and can reach speeds of 40 miles per hour. Their thin legs are full of strength. Coyotes can leap as far as 14 feet in a single bound. Coyotes are sometimes called the prairie wolf, and it's an opportunistic feeder. The bulk of its diet is meat. It can also be said that a coyote is part of nature's janitorial staff. One of its favorite meals is carrion. However, its primary source of food is small mammals. Coyotes can be seen digging in fields in search of mice, rats, and voles. Coyote will also eat birds, snakes, insects, and frogs. Occasionally, many coyotes will team together to take down a deer or an antelope, but most of the time, they prefer to hunt alone or in pairs. Coyotes mate for years and sometimes for life. Their den is made in a hole in the ground or in a crevice in a rock. Young are born in April and May and are fed and raised by both parents. The usual litter is five, however. Some females have been reported to have as many as 19 pups. In the western states, coyotes live in open grasslands utilizing abandoned badger and foxborough dens. In the east, they live in thickets and wooded areas. This wild dog continues to live up to its reputation as a cunning survivor. The coyote is tolerant of man, so tolerant in fact that populations have been established in the suburbs of larger cities, such as Los Angeles. It's this adaptive and cunning spirit that will keep the coyote an integral part of America's and Kentucky's wild outdoors. Landowners experiencing livestock depredation by coyotes may kill them year-round without a hunting or trapping license. However, if trapping is to occur outside the fur bearer season, the landowner should first contact the local conservation officer. I've raised cattle all my life. We run about 150 to 200 head year-round. Between 750 and 800 sheep here on the farm. And that's a lot of lamb chops for the coyotes. Sometimes we have a lot of trouble with coyotes during calving season. They will run them through the fence or, or they'll, they'll kill the calves sometimes if they catch one that's weak. That's when they become a problem. We noticed we had some lambs missing. 
we started trapping. We would catch between one and three coyotes. They would cease. We thought we had a problem solved. About three to four weeks later, there would be another lamb or two killed and ate. We would put the traps out again. One to three more coyotes. This went on up till November. I told my wife in November, I'm putting the traps out. They're staying out till first of March. I caught one old female. She apparently was a problem the whole time, but I took 14 coyotes before I got her saw. And I pack a gun with me all the time, and if I can get a shot at them, I'll shoot them. But if not, if I see them in the herd, I, I go to setting the snares or the steel traps to take them out. If you're gonna have coyote problems, you'll have it either in April, when the female is trying to find a lot of food to give her young, or in October when they have told the young'uns to get out and they go out on their own and they're hunting something to eat and they'll have a kill. Nobody could spook me away from McDonald's, so I don't doubt if you could spook a coyote away from a meal. If you can keep them out, you got the battle won.